niggas already know, man. DNA to PG Killer, one six of that NWX. Right now we on the bar structure. What's up, man? Y'all watching the bar structure? This is your boy Loso, Mr. Jump the Top Ten from the Bull. Try out, yo. Shout out, bar structure. Yeah. You know what it is? The Kid Cortez, Brooklyn, Murder Ave Gang. Right now, you into the bar structure. You're ugly. Man, you already know what it is. K Shot, man. 169 NWX. You can tip them up. You no know, shout out to the bar structure, man. You already know what it is, man. Salute. Bro. John John Dye. Bullpen over bullshit. Shout out to the bar structure, man. You already know, man. Going down. Sean, man, bullpen battle here. You know I gotta fuck the bar structure, right? Hey, if you ain't got your shit structured, why you ain't built no foundation? You feel me? The bar structure, structure, your fucking balls. It's not about having balls. It's how you structure them shits. So use them shits right. Team Honda, you heard? Yeah. Yo, what's the deal, world? It's your man, Taz Bailey, the Trill Prince. Back at you again with another episode of The Bar Structure. You know, I know it's been a minute since I did one of these reviews or whatnot. But I figure I'd get right back to it because, uh... The game has been pretty exciting right now, man. Um, Battle Rap is at its all-time high again. Finally, you know what I'm saying? And this new blood coming in the game, tearing heads off, and that's what I like to see. So today, we're going to get into this bullpen battle league battle. You know, it's a G-Lo versus Miss Lisa off of Kills Confirmed 2. You know, I had the opportunity of being at this battle, and man, it was crazy. Um, yeah, man, lots of, uh, lots of tension, lots of aggression. Uh, lots of disrespect. I, I I loved it. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I like to see in these battles. So you already know how we do this. Um, how we do this on the bar structure. We break these uh we break these battles down by a couple different categories. You already know one is being lyrical content. Then we got stage presence, performance, um, freestyle ability, and rebuttals, which are both bonus. And then the uh, most crucial one is um, bars landed. You know what I'm saying? We hear haymakers and shit all the time or whatever, but it's um, how many actually hit, how many actually land. That's the winning factor. You know what I'm saying? Really, what it comes down to. So, right now, we're just going to go ahead and get into a, um, a couple of highlights right now from Miss Lisa, round one. Hey, I said, what's popping, bullpen? Wow. Yo, G, I got a question for you. You know, what are you? Bar raises the chef life. Uh -huh. chef Nigga, I'll raise the bar and take chef life. Yeah. I can't fuck with dude, so just know when Jay see the opportunity, this nigga gonna see mad arms waving when the camera's on. Chris Stokes, hold on, Jay see arms waving. Chris Stokes, man. Okay. Hey, yo, G, you good, pussy? Great. It's time to kill pussy. Take the soul out of a nigga. Like good pussy, but wait. Uh -huh. Okay, and so those was highlights from round one of Miss Lisa and um look my analysis look so uh I gave her, you know, for lyrical content, I gave her four, you know what I'm saying, for the um a lot of the schemes and metaphors she did. She had a couple lines in there like, you know, the uh the, I raised the bar and take chef life, that was cool. You know what I'm saying? The whole um J C arms wave and Chris Stokes. I thought that was cool. She had a, a few punchlines in there, you know what I'm saying? But um I didn't give her necessarily a five because it wasn't like necessarily nothing that like, you know, like I just went extra crazy over and like, you know, I feel like she could have like really like attacked her opponent a little bit more, like with the like the raise the bar, like I raised the bar and take chef life of attacking his crew going more direct. Like yeah, I, I like that line because it was more direct and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But since she ain't keep that up through most of the whole first round, it was like a lot more haymakers and shit. Like I gave her a four for that. So but it was still cool. Stage presence though, I gave her a five. You know, she came on, you know, comfortable first um beginning off talking to the crowd was good. Boy punch she got the attention of the crowd immediately. So that was smooth. Um Performance, I gave her a three. You know, she was she was rocking. She was rocking. She was flowing and whatnot. But when I think of performance, you know, um, me, like, I, I hold performance real high. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of my favorite battle rappers is this Hitman Hollow. So I, I guess that's kind of where I set the bar. And um, she just, she performed, but she just didn't do anything, like I said, spectacular as far as, like, with movements or whatever. But that's, that ain't, that's not nothing big. Everybody's um, thing is not always performance you know so with that being said i gave her a, a three for, for, for performance and then um for bars landed uh she had nine bars landed in total you know what i'm saying so that's where we at with miss lisa round one average four you know what i'm saying out of ten you know so 
you know, hopefully we're going to see it get better these next couple rounds. But um, right now, we're about to get into my man's G-Lo. First round. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that, that, and that was my whole reaction through probably like most of the first round. Like, this man, when I say got nasty, nasty, like... <laughs> We 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 just gonna roll with some highlights, dog. Like raw one, G Lo, yeah. I ain't come here to bad. I wanna fuck your face, my dick in your mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute, see what I mean? Just off that with the low. See, I had to stop the highlights just real quick. Grab the attention of the crowd. Straight, direct towards his opponent. Disrespectful. That's what I like to see. Let's get back into these highlight stuff. I ain't come here to battle. I wanna fuck your face, my dick in your mouth. Why you on your knees? I'm in amazing grace. I put ass shape, dumb bitch. You should have known. This was deeper than rap. You play hard, then your jaw rock. Bet your defense is wax. Y'all feel it. I said plastic bag while walking a dog. I'm holding some shit. I'll fuck your pussy with an ice pick until your ovaries rip. <laughs> Bruh, now that, that was a bar. That was a, nigga, look, look, look at Chef's face, bro. Do you see, like, look, look at this nigga's face, bro. Look at his face. That face, that face explains how my stomach felt. Oh, my God, that was so brutal. Even I felt, that nigga, uh, you pussy with an ice pick until your ovaries rip. Oh, my. Oh. That made me gotta go take a shit. That's a shot, Lisa. Homer Simpson, I pop Lisa. Corvette, that ain't. Wow. Yeah, that's a shot, Lisa. Yo, I'ma tell you off top. Um, clearly, G Lo won that that first round. No debate, no debate, man. Um, I gave him five for lyrical content. Um, he was, it was just different. He was sitting harder. He was sitting harder. He came in first round swinging haymakers left and right, but not only that, attacking his opponent, using the fact that this is a co-ed battle, this is a, a female standing in front of him to, to his advantage and getting real gritty and disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, what you like to see in battle. That's what I look for. You know what I'm saying? Is for you to break your opponent down, make make them feel like, like they should not be in this ring, make them not want to rap again when this second verse, when this second round comes back around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Destroy his or her whole character. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? So, I gave him a five for lyrical content. Stage presence, stage presence wise. He was, he was comfortable. He was controlling the crowd, shaking the room like crazy. First round. Came out shaking the room. Entire building. So, um, I gave him a five for that. Performance, I gave him a four. You know, um, the sign language and all that was cool. You know, um, I just, like I said, I didn't give him a five just because. Again, just like I said with Miss Lisa, he just didn't do anything like spectacular for performance, but it was still a great performance. You know, he's uh, mad aggressive. Um, vocal projection is crazy. You know, it's cool. Um, bars landed. He had 13 total bars landed. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, it's crazy. So overall, um, I gave G Lo 7 out of 10 for this first round. So. Yeah, G Lo got that first round, you know what I'm saying, by two, by two points or whatnot. And um we gonna get here into this uh crazy second round, man. Um first highlights from Miss Lisa round two. Me versus you, me versus you and a mirror match. Me versus you ain't a mirror match, I'm Marka Mark. Marky Mark, yeah, bitch, you can have your image back. Kill yourself. We try to handle this. Bro, yeah, just get down to it, man, with this second round, yo. Um, 
Miss Lisa overall, like like lyrical content, I gave her a four again. She didn't do no 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 lacking. You know what I'm saying? Um, no lacking on lyrical content. She still came with it just as hard as she did with the first round. So as far as lyric lyrically, you know, so um, I still gave her a four on that. And uh, stage presence though, I knocked her down two points. You know what I'm saying for um, you know for the stumbles, for the chokes and shit. You know. That you know what I'm saying? It's like that that first round he got to go and after that first round I feel like it kinda got to her. You know what I'm saying? And so she she did a little bit of stumbling and shit. So it's like, you know, I had to knock her down a couple points for that. So stage presence I gave her a three. And um performance again I gave her a three. I didn't really see like nothing like much change, you know, it did for the fact that, you know, she choked or whatnot too. And this time she didn't keep my attention as much like it's kind of like what he just did with after what G Lo just did after that first round. Like, you can't just match that. Like, if you're not getting the special, if you're not gonna match it lyrically, you gotta overdo it with you know what I'm saying, your performance and, and your stage presence, your aggression, or however, you know what I'm saying. You gotta come with it, and um, yeah, she just didn't step it up to that next bar. She ain't, she ain't, you know, do. No, no worse, really. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, it is what it is. And um, as far as bars landed, you know what I'm saying. She did have like a lot of haymakers. Like I said, at this this point in the battle, for second round, she wasn't really keeping me, and I don't feel like you know much of the crowd too much either at that point. Coming after what Gilo just did with that first round, you know, she only had six bars landed. So total score, you know what I'm saying. Out of 10, it was a 4 out of 10 for Miss Lisa's second round. Got nasty, you know what I'm saying? Got crazy. Like, and then after the fact of choking, after calling somebody out, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby girl. Like, got enough points down for that shit. Like, that was horrible. I felt bad. Like, really bad. And, um, just once you see it, it was just bad. You got some big ass titties. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Again, first line, grab the crowd. That was a bar. Shot. I had you holding your chest like cardiac. Well, I could let it point at your head like a party hat. Weed smoke, bitches. I said up a body shot. Had you holding your chest like cardiac. Well, I could let it point at your head like a party hat. We smoke bitches with the shots. Yeah. That's a party pack. Bitch, I call that yeah. I said you lame for real, cause your service ain't working here like you ain't paid the bill and ate a pill and leave her in the fetal position. Tornado drill. I'm towing big metal like I'm driving an 18 wheel. It's stainless steel. Bitch, I'm nice with the sticks it's like Asian. Asian. Big cans is what I bought for the bitch. That's infamil, so let me. You see what I'm saying? That shit like, like, that shit, when you got the crowd rocking with you, man, like that shit right there, it's a different feeling. When they, when the crowd make you rewind that shit and bring it back, remix it, and they saying it with you, you know what I'm saying? Like you had a rap concert, that, and you got the attention of that room, you shaking that building. That's what I like to see. That's performance. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to take. Don't even take nothing to do nothing spectacular except to grab that room. You know what I'm saying? Make him feel like you own that building, and that's what he did with that. Yo, so off top, I gave G Lo five for, for performance off this second round, just off that alone. Like, look, look, look. I mean, I just gotta, I gotta play that shit. Like, like, hold on, man. Look. Tornado drill. I'm towing big metal like I'm driving an 18 wheel. It's stainless steel. Bitch, I'm nice with the sticks like Asian. Big cans is what I'm for the bitch. That's infamil. So let's. Then fucks the crowd up again. 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 You get what I'm saying? So, um, I gave him stage presence a five because honestly, he felt like it looked like he felt like he owned the stage. 
do you know lyrical content of five again haymakers haymakers it, uh, the haymakers was crazy again attacking his opponent uh, again you know um and total bars landed 22 22 bars landed crazy you know 22 bars landed compared to six that's a slaughter that's a slaughter if you ask me man like he he did his damn thing man these is the tryouts my nigga this didn't feel like no tryouts my nigga i felt like it, it felt like phase 16 2016 part two you know what i'm saying um with battles like that you know like that was crazy so um with that being said uh i gave G Lo, a nine out of ten. You know what I'm saying for his total bars landed, stage presence, performance, and lyrical content. He does that. He really was able to shine on that that second, you know, uh, round. I feel like based upon really the energy that he brought in the first, just because of you know what he did in the first kind of dampened her second, you know, and dampened her confidence to where. That energy, like he kind of like anything she built in the first verse or built up first, so he kind of sucked it out with what he did. He overpowered it, like, and by the time he got it back, now his confidence is back up, like his up like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga went super saiyan on her ass, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, that shit, yeah, it is what it is. So, G Lo 2 0 at that point, you know, um, but. It's not over yet. We're going to get into some more highlights. Round three, Miss Lisa highlights right here on the bar structure. Yeah. Oh, Man, damn, ball raising. You better call that. Because your nigga going to lose space quick. Like when Big was fucking Kim, you pussy. Mm. See, when a birdie come out, <laughs> I was tough. I was tough. when a birdie come out, you nervous. Hanging with cheese, but ain't really one. Bubble a boat the rum. Nigga, give me space. I'm not getting glasses off your face and thank you, bro. If I ain't one bullshit, you know. I gave her, I gave her a little, little credit for that, little props for that, man, for for knocking his head off his shit. Only reason why is because it added to her performance, man. Like, like that, that's part of the aggression and shit, the detention that I like to feel. Like, I like to feel like when I go to these battles, like niggas hate each other. I know outside the ring is something different, but when I'm watching, I want, I, I want to feel like these motherfuckers about to scrap, like these niggas about to throw hands, like. That's what I want to feel like. And um, so I feel like, you know, coming off of her second, that kind of boosted up her performance a little bit, for me at least, you know. So I gave her a four uh, for performance. I gave her another four for lyrical content. Again, you know, um, her pen game is nice. Pen game is, is there. It's there. You know what I'm saying? I can't deny that shit. Like, she, she snapped or whatnot. Stage presence, uh, four, she came back up, you know. She didn't choke or whatnot this time or whatnot, which was uh, better. She did better than whatnot that time, so it was cool. But um, as far as how many bars actually landed, she only got five bars, five haymakers that actually landed that really like did something to the room for real, for real. So, you know, that's that's kind of what, what hurt her in this round or whatnot. And um, again, total, I gave her a four out of 10. Not looking good. Not looking good at all, you know, at this point. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, people, this is this is now my fifth time watching the battle. Fifth, fourth. Look, once in the building. Yeah, this is fifth. Once, you know, there at the event in the building. Um, three times before shooting this vlog and now a fifth time. Um, same reaction every time. It is no different for me. So, this, this is just what it is. It's just unbiased, you know what I'm saying? This is my first time seeing both of them battle. You get what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. But before I even go on and on and on, we're going to get into some highlights. A G Lo, third round, final round. And then we're going to, you know, show the scoreboard and recap this whole, this whole thing and declare the winner. Yeah. That was real funny and witty. What you gonna do if I start juggling titties? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is now look, look, see, and I, and I had to stop it right there. And the reason why I had to stop it right there is because, just like I said with her, how I gave her points, you know what I'm saying, for slapping his head off. I got to give him points for that one, you know what I'm saying, you know, here at the bar structure. We do give bonus points for rebuttals and freestyles, you know what I'm saying? But not only that, like, you know what I'm saying, so one point for the, uh, point for the rebuttal, a point for the uh, freestyle, and, um, not only that, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the juggling cities in the battle, that's like his response. And if you wasn't there at the battle, like, the, this is the thing, like, you didn't hear it on camera. But after she slapped his hat off, like, niggas in the crowd was like, oh, grab her titties, grab her titties. You know, you're not thinking, like, he's really about to go ahead and, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but my mans came back and, and threw it in, in the freestyle. So that's what made it, you know what I'm saying, so, so entertaining to me. You get what I'm saying? And so off of that, um, you know, I gave his his performance a five, you know, uh, stage presence a four this time, and um, which is still not bad, still good, you know what I'm saying? So his his stage presence was cool, uh, lyrical ability, um, again, I gave him a five, and we, I'm just show some more. We just gonna, we gonna see what I'm talking about. Why? Yeah, bitch, I came with that plus more. Like, I slammed the lady who birthed you on the motherfucking floor. Slam your grandmother's fingers in the motherfucking door. Get your daughter game right and have a walk to the store as for you. <laughs> Let's see what I'm saying, man. So, um, break it down. Third round. Clearly, G Lo again. By a long shot, um, lyrical content five. Uh, like I said, for that, like you, you, heard, you just heard it, you heard it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta explain it, man. Lyrical content five, stage presence four, performance five, you know what I'm saying? Um, two bonus points for the rebuttal and freestyle. His total bars landed, he had 15 bars landed this round, so not as crazy as the second round, but he still got crazy, like, don't get me wrong, he still got crazy. You know what I'm saying? So overall score is an 8 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Uh, final battle analysis. You know, um, Miss Lisa, overall 4 out of 10. Not looking good. <laughs> um, drink that water. You know, Miss Lisa, 4 out of 10. Uh, drink that water, baby girl. Drink that water. That's all I got to say. And um, G Lo, 8 out of 10. Uh, final battle analysis. You know what I'm saying? So, clear win, G-Lo, 3-0. Um, that nigga, he dropped a mean 30. Mean ass 30, man. It was disgusting. And uh, honestly, I feel like he he, he deserved that uh, that stat. You know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know, the pe uh, best performance gets $1,000. You know what I'm saying? For the um, best performance of the night or whatever. And I feel like he went to G-Lo. Really, like I said, for really using... The, the whole gender factor to his advantage of making it entertaining. Like, I can say, like, that that was uh, the most entertaining battle when you talked about, you know what I'm saying, entertainment and performance. It was the most entertaining battle, and it was mainly because of him. Like, it, you know what I'm saying, it weighed on him with that. So, that's what I took into account, man, that the haymakers was crazy. Like I said, at one point, this nigga had 22 bars landed. In one round, like that's just crazy, nigga. That's some that's some top tier shit. Like that was dope. So um, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this your man's Taz Bailey, the Trill Prince. This is the bar structure, man. Shout outs to G Lo, shout outs to Miss Lisa, shout outs to Bullpen Battle League, and um, stay tuned for the next one. Next time we gonna get into uh, you know, Blix the Barbarian versus Craig and Lamar. You know what I'm saying? After Kills Confirmed 2. And uh, we're going to be dropping them on um, Fade 2016 predictions. I mean, not predictions. Them Fade 2016 reviews real, real soon. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, we out.